disabled racist. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everybody. This is the pre-show. Today is 8 17 August 17th, 2014. And this is the Sunday Dose. We'll be right here in a few moments with the show. Um <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> oh papi. <laughs> <And a baby. laughs> You can try to sound like a like a uh, a Scottish person. What the? F All right, <laughs> I don't even know how to do it. <coughs> uh, music time. Music time. It is just like that. Music. It it is music time. Dun 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 dun. Boom. All right, so we're gonna go. Beat time. Beat time. Uh, beat, beat, Welcome to the show, guys. Time. We're starting in a few seconds. Beat time. <laughs> And welcome to the Sunday Dose again. I just started playing that music and I was like, hey, that's the same music we have on horseplay. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? This is the Sunday Dose, Sunday, August 17, 2014. Welcome. And of course, as always, I'm joined by the... Um... Psycho, Mr. Dreadnought himself, Dreadnought three four four seven. What's up, big boy? Psycho, I don't awake. Know. Yes, <laughs> you're awake. Yes, me too. That's good. <laughs> Yogi says every time he watches the show, he's like, "Oh my god, you guys are so energetic." It's not <laughs> being. It's not be. It's not about being energetic. It's about the the lack of. You it's know, about being alive, Yogi. We're <laughs> and, here. And then the giant <laughs> cup of coffee. <laughs> that I had to drink. Coincidentally, it does not say El Pepe. <laughs> it does not say Pepe. It says Papa, Dad, Dad. Yeah, no, that, that it, three letters, man. <laughs> you know what? Stop raining on my parade. You're a dick. A just, dick. just, I just want to say that. I'm not a dick. You're just apparently illiterate. <laughs> Ouch. He's been dogging me all week, giving me shit all week long. I've been sick. And he, he'll come on, he goes, you want to play somebody? And I'm like, yeah, dude, that's awesome. And then we get into playing some, and he's like, hey, you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, man? I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> so it's like we've been snapping at each other all week long because he's not been feeling good because he hasn't been sleeping. I'm not feeling good because I'm actually sick. And, yeah, it's been eventful. Because <laughs> we're all... <laughs> Functioning. It's been very eventful. <laughs> yeah, function, fu somewhat functioning, I guess. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> the, the somewhat's what counts, you know. Yeah, it is. My son uh, went out away for uh, went to his his, uh, his grandma's house to this a uh, couple days ago, and he went for two days. And usually is my mom. She usually she'll get home. She works like a uh, like a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and every other Wednesday type job. Of course, it's 12 hours a shift, and, you know, ugh. And, well, she's gotten promotions, so we're, now she's on days. So she can keep him during, like, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, Yeah, well, he came back home with my dad because, as you guys know, my dad's going to be starting a, 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 a talk show uh, on Sundays uh, doing a sermon. And he, he goes, I wanted to go with you. And Dad's like, I couldn't leave him because he's screaming at the top of his lungs. Okay, so what do we do? Just take him with you. Great. So now I'm thinking I'm sick as hell trying to go, uh, try to get some sleep. Want to just get through this meeting with my dad. And all of a sudden, my son's walking. Dad, Dad. Oh, no. Okay, is he going back home with you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's going with me. <laughs> Good. <laughs> he might have to throw you out now. No dinner for you. 
What have you been doing this last week, bud? Uh, you know, usually just trying to cram out some work here and there whenever I can do it. It's all fun right. games. And well, I'm I'm much. I'm thinking about getting a uh, a job, uh, a part time job. <laughs> like you said, I'm thinking of working. You know. Um. Well, I don't have to. I get I get I get disability, but um, it's it's. <laughs> I was like, oh, you know, what do we want? You know, a little extra money, and I was like, so where do I want to work? Anywhere I work, I have to be, you know, I'm on pretty heavy restrictions. I can't really lift that heavy stuff. I can't really, you know, walk around for a long time at a time. So I went to just the local grocery store here. Um, it's kind of like if you're from down south, it's like uh, um, uh, Piggly Wiggly or like a Walmart, but it's called Meyer up here, Okay. Um, if you guys know Meyer Gardens, it's the same guys, uh, same guy that owns the stores. It's a north northeast company, I guess. And um, I went in there, and I was just I was just gonna ask to be a door greeter. Seriously, I'm like one of the old dudes now. They go, "Welcome to Meyer. May your may your trip here be wonderful," you know. Um, and he goes, "Well." Uh, how long can you walk around at a time? I said, maybe a couple hours at a time, but then I got to sit down. And he goes, you know what? I have an opening in loss prevention. I was like, in, in, in what? I didn't even realize what it was. He goes, well, it's the walkers that walk around the store trying to catch people stealing shit. I was like, well, I can't walk around that much. He goes, but that's the kicker. We can put you in one of these electronic wheelchairs and nobody will even know the difference. I was like, thanks, dude. He goes, it's awesome. Then it works out for you, and I get somebody on the floor. <laughs> I'm like, uh, okay. You get to zoom around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but the good thing is, is guys, it's not going to happen. The epic beard stays safe. That's good. He won't make me shave it. You guys do know we're starting the epic beard club. Hashtag team epic beards. I got, I got, uh, <laughs> Thor responded to me. <laughs> Frigira responded to me. All the people that have these freaking massive, well, Thor doesn't anymore, but these massive freaking beards. So yeah, I saw Thor on the, on the stream this morning, man. He's looking pretty, uh, empty faced. Is he real? Did he shave it oh, off? I think, I think, I think he's clean shaven right oh, now. Oh yeah. no. Uh, oh no. I got to talk trash in this stream. He was up there on the, uh, games con and I think he shaved up for that. Yeah. Wow. A little bit about what we're going to talk about this week, guys. Um, of course, we're going to give our shout-outs. We have to do that. We're going to go over our streams of the week, and then we're going to get into some LCS, um, all of them. I know we, we primarily hook on EU LCS, but we're actually going to get into the, the NA, and we're going to go uh, see uh, do a sneak peek at OGN because um, the finals for o OGN was either last night or Friday night. And I'm not going to spoil that, so we're going to get to that to see actually who won that. And, and then, uh, guys, Worlds are coming up, so we're going to be getting on and talking about that again. Rotating Champions of the Week is Darius and Diana. A couple double Ds. <laughs> Boo. 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 <coughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, we're all adults here. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> we're going <laughs> to... What do you mean? We're the only two here. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. And then we're going to touch a little bit uh, in uh, Dungate, and then we're going to talk about, uh, of course, some Diablo talk, uh, hardcore run-throughs, gameplay, stuff like that. So hope you guys do enjoy the show. Again, welcome to the Sunday Dose. Let's get into it. Big shout-outs, of course, to our family, GeekyAntics.net. Um, all you guys, Yogi, Stan... Uh, Janelle number five, um, of course, you know, even Dreadnought and myself, Fort and Guard, everybody that, everybody that's there at the gang, I don't, I know I'm not hitting you all, um, but thank you for all your contributions and just making the gang just what it is today. Um, I know Yogi has been doing a, a immense amount of work on, on the, on the website. I looked up, um, I looked, you're always lurking, Stan. I looked up, uh, Geeky Antics. Uh, uh, just word geeky on Google, and the whole first page is us. 
I'm not not just like the first couple things, the whole first page. He's got geekyantics.net, he's got dot com, the forums, I mean everything, the whole first page, first page and a half is all geeky antics. Yay! Hell yeah. So that's what we that's uh getting us out there, getting our love, getting the love out there, getting our name out there so we can just have that many more people um visit us and and decide to stay because I think really everybody does. Just You're come by, say here. hi. We try to be entertaining. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> come by and say hi. We won't bite. Well, we won't. I'm not saying Janelle or, you know, um, you know, shy white wolf or I'm not saying they won't bite. If they do, it won't be very hard. I promise. I nibble. Maybe. Slip. He nibbles. I don't bite at all. Because if I bite down too hard, I lose stuff. So <laughs> <laughs> stuff just comes out, man. Stuff just Literally. <laughs> now that's just terrifying. Dreadnought found out for the first time this morning when I adjusted that I have dentures. So he's like, yeah, uh, right. he's like, wait a minute, you got fake teeth? I'm like, no. <laughs> well, I, I barely yeah. just clicked on the window and like when I, you know how sometimes you see people with, who have the uh, dentures that they play with their teeth and they like pop them out and pop them back in i barely caught a small glimpse of that and i was like what <laughs> yeah, okay it's all right <laughs> not sure if i saw that right <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah well you know and, uh, and of course we do want to make sure that we hit up that that, that all games family all games.com hey, guys the only thing i want to say to you guys and the only thing that needs to be said is to you guys is fucking awesome and we love you very much. You guys have taken good care of us. Especially, of course, you guys know that Horse Play Live on Thursday nights uh, are, is on allgames.com. So uh, another syndicate that we're actually we're very proud to be in uh, just because of what they've done for us and just the help. I know we've done equal amount or, you know, shouting them out every show that we have, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. That's just what we can do. You guys have just done so much for us. We really appreciate it. And of course, all the family. And of and you know, and all games. Uh, and this is a invite, I guess, to everybody. Dread, all games or geeky antics family. If you guys can manage to get up this early on Sunday morning, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> if you guys can manage to get up this early on Sunday morning, let's 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 do it. Let's invite somebody. One person, two people, whatever. We're going to invite somebody to the Sunday Dose for you guys to come on and just basically talk with us and and uh, be a part of the show. We'll do that in a couple weeks. Um, There's something I wanted to mention first. Oh, yeah. Giveaway, guys. We do have a giveaway. And it's not it's not Yogi putting it on and then Yogi has it or Stan. I, I know you guys get a lot of your giveaways from those guys. This is something from... Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm trying as much as I possibly can do, but we are going to be doing, we have a video out there on Geeky Antics on YouTube. Oh, yeah, I forgot you actually made that. And it, <laughs> yes, I did. That was actually pretty fun. Yeah. Um, and it's it's Payday 2, guys. Uh, this is the one thing, what I need you guys to do. If you guys do want to be a part of this giveaway, the giveaway is going to be in a couple weeks. We're not going to give it away tomorrow. We're not going to do, no, we're going to give it away in a couple weeks, and we're going to give it away right on here. Um, even though it's early in the morning for most people here, um, EU shows, it's not. I have a Steam copy of Payday 2, so you guys can play with us or, you know, by yourself if you really feel like it. But, of course, uh, we do want to get more, um, another person, another person, people that watch the shows, that watch everything that we do, we want to make sure they get games. Um, love you very much, guys. So go comment on that video, and just tell me why you think you 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 should get the the game. And then what we're gonna do, myself and Dreadnought three four four seven, we are actually then going to look through the comments. Um, I only have one copy. Um, I did get uh, I did receive a four pack, and um, yeah, it was awesome. But uh, I gave one to I I kept one for myself, of course. Um, and then I gave one to Dreadnought, and then I gave another one to Fortguard. 
um, a gang members. So that we do have one more copy left. We do want to give that away. And um, we want to give it away to you. So if you are looking towards playing that game or it's on your wish list, just all you got to do is comment. All you got to do is comment. Um, I'll get that URL here out in a second. Uh, oh, Stan's like, I want the video. I want the game. Please. Giveaway, you don't say. Give me the game. <laughs> Give me the game or I'm going to hurt you. That's not really what Stan's, th you know. No, no, that's not really. <laughs> It might be, it might, it might be like, give me a game, please. Right now. Oh <laughs> <clears throat> Voice like that, USRB, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> no kids. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> it's, it's supposed to be that one bouncer who's like really really bright you know <laughs> oh yeah i got it yeah yeah <laughs> well, we're gonna move right on to the stream of the week guys now i said this on horseplay live on thursday there's a streamer that's out there and she started less than three weeks ago um i did get a chance to chat with her on twitch can't tell what's going on big guy um, I did get a chance to ch chat with her on Twitch a little bit, and she's just happy that she actually gets to play and actually can play. Um, and when I and I, when I found out, and I was just like, "Oh my god!" For one, it's a girl gamer. Not saying they're any different than guys, but for two, she plays League at a gold. She's now gold one, by the way. She was gold three when I found her at a gold one level elo she has no arms and she plays with her toes that is very impressive you guys go check her out follow her please give her a follow give her a look see www.twitch.tv forward slash fed pro f-e-d-p-o-r-o fed pro you guys go check her out if you guys are listening on the podcast um, just just give her a look see Oh, um, it looks really weird when you first get into it because you got her camera and then all of a sudden you look up top and top top right corner of her screen or the bottom left corner of her screen and you see a, a camera on her keyboard and then her feet's up there you're like what the hell I mean she smokes she'll sit there not this big of a cup but she'll sit there and grab the cup with her toes yeah, and take a drink <laughs> and, and you know she'll she just sit there, it, it, like my hand. It's her. It would be her feet. Her feet. I mean, oh, just amazing. She's, she's learning to use her feet like we use her hands, man. I mean, Oro no pro. Bad porn. No, Stan. <laughs> Beat yourself, Stan. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't say she was a pro. I didn't. I, she's not a pro. She's just. She's a good League of Legends player for being a player that plays with her feet. Oh no, it's it's amazing. It really is. And I mean, everything. Her mouse, it, it, she has no, she was born with no arms. Back to the whole thing about her feet, man. Yeah, like I said, she uh, uses her feet like, you know, she learned to use her feet like we use our hands. So, I mean. And better. Well, yeah. I mean, everybody's seen my writing before. Um, you know, my penmanship is just atrocious. Um, she, she puts there, she goes, I'll write something for you guys. She writes it out, sticks it up, and it's like perfect lines, no shakiness, no nothing. Did I say that? <clears throat> some people just got it, you know. And she, yeah, she's fed got Poro. It. Yeah, Poro. You know, like the, the little white puff balls on the bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's Poro, the little white puff ball, the guy with the big ass tongue. That's on the bridge. That's, yeah. 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 I must have said Fed Pro. You did. <laughs> Uh, my bad. Anyway, it's Fed Poro, guys. F E D P O R O. You guys go check her out. Just amazing, man. Just amazing. Dread? Uh, Do you have any streams today, big guy? You know, yes. not, not particularly. Um, I, that's because I, I need to get on Twitch more often. I, I'm guilty of not being on Twitch that often. Fired! Can't feel you're time. hired. Be here at 9 a.m. every Sunday. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fix it. Don't worry. Yeah. 
Wow, that was, uh, yeah, that was like perfect. <laughs> I'm waiting for him to say something in chant. But really? Nah. I pass. <laughs> nah, I don't want it. <laughs> I'm going to pass on that. Obi, you're a dick. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass on that. I can't deal with Obi. He's an asshole. I don't have enough facial hair to be on the camera. I'm sorry. I, I think <laughs> Cantiel's got a beard, maybe. I have no idea. I he used to. If I remember right. But anyway, I'm going to go right on to the games. <coughs> Riot Games. Of course, you guys know playoffs are here. And in full effect. Um, in some, in one, uh, OGN specifically. The winners. And if you guys have not watched it, please turn on your sound right now. If you haven't watched it by now, whether you're listening to the podcast or live... Then you're a little bit behind. You need to get fed up. But turn down. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, turn down the sound because I'm going to give a spoiler. OGN, the winners were KT Arrows. Congratulations to the KT Arrows. They will be going on. Uh, I mean, the top uh, top three do go on. But the, the top two, of course, go on to Worlds, KT Arrows, and Samsung Blue, of course. Now, the, the one thing is, is KT Arrows did win. But they're not automatically in worlds. How do you? How does that go? They actually have to win a promo to get into worlds yet. But Samsung Blue lost the championship match. And it was five games, guys. It was they. They each won two. The last game was a blind pick. <laughs> the last game was a blind pick, and KT Arrows came away with it. And the thing is, yeah. It was a really, really, was it blind? Yeah, it was four. It was two to two. So it was blind pick. They just, they did. They won. It was really, really good. Really, really good game. And you know what? I'm actually going to look on this because I feel like I'm wrong right now. And I don't like to be wrong. Uh, oh, Jan, apparently uh, Samsung won, uh, Blue is at one. Sam, no, KT Heroes won. <clears throat> no, zero one. Samsung Blue, two zero one. Seven points. Oh, that's the gr that's the group standings, dude. Ah, uh, okay. Um, the uh, finals, whereas the KT Arrows versus Samsung Blue, and KT Arrows took it. Mm. Yeah, that's the group stage. Um, if you go down to the bottom, you'll see all standings. Uh, base, but basically, if you guys do know and you guys do follow the OGN. Um, congratulations to KT Arrow, KT Rolster, Roll, Rolster Arrows. Congratulations to you guys for winning the OGN Championship, the, the Korean OGN Championships, um, for uh, OGN Summer. Oh, yeah, they're there. Okay. Getting on, and, and we're just gonna, we're not going through a whole bunch of stuff today, guys. We're just getting on, uh, a few... Uh, picks and, and, and what we think about what's going on. I don't really follow OGN. I know I watch Monte, o, uh, Monte Cristo on OGN a lot um, just because, not because he's a CLG coach or anything like that, or that's his team, but at Monte's just, he's the knowledge that he has about the game is just impeccable. He's secretly a fanboy. No yeah, right. I am a fanboy. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> NALCS Summer Playoffs Quarterfinals. Which will be starting Saturday, August 23rd at 3 p.m. All matches are in uh, my local time zone. So 3 p.m. And that will be 6, 9 p.m. GMT. Or in... Uh, I don't know. Uh, whatever. I don't... Time I, conversion. GMT yeah. is just not my strong suit at all. It'll be about... It'll be... <clears throat> it'll be about 9 o'clock in um or actually eight o'clock in britain how's that because i know that's where puffin lives and and he's five hours behind me or ahead of me so if it's three here it'll be eight yeah there <laughs> not that many Euro time. not that many europeans probably watch na anyway because we're you know we're at the bottom of the list probably not because it does it, it we are we are we are it goes it goes ogn are Korean players because that's they're just the the amount of the amount of skill that Korean players have over over even European players 
is a lot. <laughs> um, CLG went to Korea here the last couple weeks and played them and scrammed and did all and double looked at an interview and he was just like, oh my god, these guys are freaking phenomenal. They are awesome. Everything they do is calculated. Everything they do is well planned. I mean, they set up for the dragon fight two minutes prior or two and a half minutes prior. It's just, dude. Welcome to Asian Gaming, dude. It, they don't it, around. Not at all. But the first best of five series is Team Solo Mid versus Team Dignitas. I I'm might gonna... actually watch that because that actually sounds exciting to me. <laughs> okay, now what we're going to do here is we're going to get some uh, predictions from uh, the cast here on the Sunday Dose. <laughs> He's like, what? No. What? <laughs> so we're going to get some predictions for <laughs> who's going to win the, the, the upcoming games. <laughs> so who are you going for? Oh, I I like Team Solo Mid, but I already have a feeling I think Team Dignitas is going to take that. Uh, do you want to just go down the list or just the first? So you're going Team Dignitas. I, I'm thinking Team Dignitas over Solo Mid. I mean, Solo Mid, they've been they're good enough to be there, but I don't know if they're good enough to move ahead all the way. Yeah, they've kind of fallen off the radar a bit. Um, Curse and Counter Logic Gaming, that's kind of a hard one to call. Well, for my picks, I am going Team Solo Mid, and I'm going CLG. <laughs> I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say Dignitas and Curse. There's no <laughs> the opposite ones that I pick. The, no, no offense to Boy Boy and Curse and and, and 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 or any of the Curse players. All right, I'm not saying nothing bad about them, but CLG have been improving. Um, over the last several weeks, and I'm not going to say it's a, oh, but they went over here and scrimmed. No, I'm not saying that's going to be the reason why they went, but that's going to help them. Oh, um, it'll be a, it'll be a big it'll help. It'll be a big oh, help uh, because of the, com the level of play um, that, 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 that CLG does have. So uh, we do got a vote from Cantil, uh, TSM or Dignitas. Which one are we seeking to pick? Intend to vote. That's more a question. Mm. It was well. He's he want he's gonna he wants to vote, but yeah. So when he does vote, we'll get those out to him from him as well. And um, you know what? Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm gonna go ahead and say I don't really know on the August twenty fourth. Oh no! You already said you already said you're dig to toss and team curse. All right, dig to toss and team curse. I'll stick to it then. Oh, you got I, to. It's it's hard to say there. Curse and Counter Logic Gaming are both pretty good teams, man. Mm -hmm. If anything, it should be a really intense game. I hope. Yeah. I have seen some games before that are pretty washed, and you're just like, uh, could have been better. But... Um. <laughs> <Last point. laughs> now, Bjergsen, that's the one person I am scared about. I, I really. I. I... How do I say this and say this nicely? You don't. Um, the, well, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Um, not saying that the mid laner for Team Dignitas is terrible, Skara. I'm not saying that at all. But Bjergsen, I'm really sorry to say, plays circles around him. Um, uh, they, they both have the excellent mechanics and excellent laning phase. But I really do feel that Bjergsen is, or the Bjerger King. <laughs> oh, God. Um, is it came from Cantillo, man? Not me. That's not one. Of my I, I jokes. saw that too. He has a couple of that floating on his page. He's just like that's that's not that's not one of my jokes. Oh, I know. But I do it's really feel right. I do feel that Bjergsen can outplay Skara. Um. Yeah. He... I say I had a switch up. Yeah. Oh yeah, he isn't playing right now. Possibility, yeah. No. Wait a oh, anyway, I. I... <sighs> and his rant is destroyed. <laughs> yep, it is. Huh, that one mid guy versus the other guy, I think it might be okay because he runs circles around him. <laughs> it's alright, man. I'm checking. 
I am going to check. Excuse me. Oh, God. Heck, you Wow. Uh, wow, I'm so stupid. Skara went to a coaching spot. He went, like, he did something. He did, yeah, it's Shifter. I'm so stupid. Yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, thanks, Cantil. Uh, yeah, Scar is a sub, but he's also a coach. Uh, he's one of the main. He's one of the one of the main coaches that sub for. I don't think he's a sub player anymore. I think he's more of a coach. But anyway, Shifter is a little bit less aggressive than than what Bjergsen is. So I think Bjergsen actually his aggressiveness is going to actually. I really kind of think it's going to backfire on him. Um, I'm not saying that you know Shifter is going to lose a lane, but Shifter is a really good laner too. He's got the mechanics. He's got the 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 CS down in the 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 early game and laning phase down to a T, but like I said, it just depends on picks and bans. If Bjergsen can get on a champion that is actually very very aggressive up uh, in the first five ten minutes, I really think maybe TSM might be able to pull it out at least the first game until they adjust. It is a best of five series. Hopefully, we're gonna be able to see five games because I want to see a draft pick or a blind pick just because those things are just fun. I would like to see the final round, man. I love it when it goes down to the wire, you know, because that's when things get really intense, and that's when all the teams start pulling out the best stops they have. Well, and the funny thing is, is the final round is the blind pick, so you don't know what you're playing into. <laughs> oh, so yeah. you can get you can get chomped out just from a, anything. So, uh, question: Since uh, Scar is doing the since Scar's doing uh, Scar is doing a sub and uh, coach position, does that mean he's eventually trying to transition out now? Uh, Scar is transitioning out, yeah. That's what I thought. That From was. what I hear, I'm not. This is not 100, percent guys. This is, this is everything. This is the stuff that I read, um, not just from one source, but from 10 to 15 sources that everybody, you know, he's he's transitioning out. He he's going to be a coach for CLG or not CLG. <laughs> wow, um, CLG on the brain. Um, and he's going to be a coach for Team Dignitas. Um, and just to help them. So. Um, and that's that's even cutie. Uh, I'm a cutie pie. Says that too. Uh, yeah, but it can't stay forever, man. Just gotta cycle out every once so, in a while. That, and, and and it might be wrong. We might come up next week and go, guys. I'm a freaking retard. He's not. He's still saying so. He's still gonna play. But from what I hear from everybody, is Scar is actually kind of he's kind of doing what Saint Vicious did. Well, Saint Vicious is on Curse Academy now, but <laughs> um. He's kind of doing what Saint Vicious did and going to the the coaching role, um, uh, or, or kind of like what Reginald did for Team Silo Mid. You know, he was right. their mid laner, and now he's just the owner. He's now he's just back there, sitting back and helping you know coach up. So. You know, he's 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 just he's he's behind the scenes now. Yeah, well, and for 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 Lost Boy and Solo Mid, Team Solo Mid did do. Um, two changes. Um, I, I, was it before the summer split? I think it was. Right before. Where they did have Glebe. But Glebe was not performing well at support. And, um, brought in Lust Boy. And Lust Boy has just been, holy crap. 180 degree turnaround. Um, and then, well. I go ahead. actually never heard of Lust Boy. When... When did he pop in, and who did he replace? Uh, Lost Boy is a support. He plays for TSM. He replaced uh, TSM Glebe. Mm, okay. Um, if you guys, if you watch League of Legends streams, you'll see, you know, uh, three of the top five streams are all TSM players. Okay, yeah, it's just how it is. Oh. Um, but um, and then now the next game Sunday. August twenty fourth, Curse versus Counter Logic Gaming. I really do see Counter Logic Gaming. Actually, I don't see either of them winning. It's going to be that close, but I want Counter Logic Gaming to win. <clears throat> um, I know Curse is. They've been fighting for you know all spring and summer to stay in this to get to get where they're at. Um, but yeah, I, I I want CLG to win. CLG and Team Dignitas. I don't particularly want any. Or TSM, you know, I sorry. I, I don't have any specifics I want to win, but I just, I don't know. I just think Curse might pull it out because, like I said, Curse is a pretty strong team, just like Counter Logic is. I don't know. Just leaning towards them. Yep. Yeah, uh, Cantil actually brought up um, 
Lost Boy actually was in CJ Intus Frost uh, over in Korea uh, before he joined uh, TSM. So he is a he's a well known player. He's known all around the world. He's been in the big stage events. He's been he's been to where you know because I mean Korea their their average day play you know not even a tournament. You're in the studio. You're not doing stuff from home. They do everything from their, you know, from that studio there in Seoul. So, um, yeah. So TSM just broke down and said, "Man, we need to get us a Korean." That's what everybody's doing. Everybody's getting Korean players. Does that tell you yeah. anything? Mm. That tells us that a Korean is really good, and b and a just can't find the right North American players apparently. It's Which, just it's what's good, coming out. Good man. Players exist. They, they just. They are known most of the time. It's what's coming out. They really aren't. But that's what happens, I guess, you know? Oh, hey, guess what? If you guys aren't watching it, LCS 2014, EU Regionals, Gamescom Day 5. That is right. We're talking about Gamescom as well. 2014 EU LCS Summer Playoffs Finals, Alliance versus Fnatic. Alliance is up 1-0. There's about 15 seconds before the second game starts, so if you guys do want to check that out, make sure you guys do. If you did not, if you you know aren't home to check it out, just be looking and listening for, um, of course, here next week, and then maybe I'll even say something about it on uh, on horseplay, uh, just because uh, we want to make sure people get it out. But that is starting right now, game two of uh, Alliance versus Fnatic, and this is the final for the else uh, the EU LCS. But let's get into uh, this one. Um, for the, the the final games for the, like I said, the ULCS is right now Alliance versus Fnatic. Fnatic is down 1-0 versus Alliance, and they're getting ready to go into game two. It's kind of hard to, you can't really talk about anything because... Uh, they're they're playing the game right now and and i really do think that alliance is going to take it away uh, alliance has been first the whole i mean damn near spring and and summer split uh, i think they went down to second or third for like a week and then went right back up um, but they just been dominate dominate um the whole the whole split it's just kind of like kt arrows over in korea they've been dominant as hell uh them and samsung blue just been rocking house so, um, you know, it, hopefully, uh, best wishes to Alliance, of course, and that's who I'm going for. You're, uh, you don't know L, L, uh, you, Redna? Hmm? Who are you going oh. for? Alliance or Fnatic? Alliance. It has to be. Go Froggen! Alliance has always been pretty on top. They're dominating. I bet Cantillo might be going for Alliance as well. Oh, probably. Well, Alliance is a pretty yeah, big favorite. Well, Cantillo's Swedish, though. Alliance is a Dane team, so. <laughs> oh, a little bit of that. Uh, I don't. You never know. I do. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All, all I know is it's he's different. Okay, I can't deal. Is Swedish. It's kind of like Germans and Austrians. Yeah, yeah, dude. No, yeah, yeah. Um, do <laughs> yeah, it. Nine? nine. Do it. Do oh, it. No. Do it. Come Absolutely on. Not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. Don't make me. <laughs> don't make me talk like this. That's the silliest things ever. Oh. Nice. <laughs> the playoffs are going to be super. <laughs> and not so many words. Cantillo said, "Fuck them teams." <laughs> he is an SK fan. Hey, it's like you—you you paraphrased in the worst way possible. <laughs> yeah, I did. I don't root. I don't root for any of those teams. You need to say nothing about screw those teams or nothing. So. He said it in a way that wasn't malicious, but eh, fuck it. I was. Just I changed this. it up. Changed up little I words. Have Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> well, actually, you changed up a lot of words. You got rid of a bunch of them and just threw in one exploitive. There you go. What? No, I just got rid of root and four because I said I don't give a fuck about any of those teams. Oh, you. <laughs> I added. I took away two and added three. That's not bad. I guess it's not too bad. You can do math, folks. It's scary. What? Don't worry about it. Two plus two is six? <laughs> two plus two is potato. Yeah. Two plus two. Carrots. 
French fries? Wait a minute. <laughs> what are you ordering lunch or doing math? Yes. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, you guys go too. If you guys do like League of Legends, um, this is the place to see <laughs> hear everything. You guys, check out those. Uh, if you guys are watching the uh, LCS, make sure you guys check out the Alliance Magnetic game right now. It is the finals. And of course, August next weekend, actually, um, is. The August 23rd, 24th is the NA finals or semifinal, quarterfinals, and finals. So, um, actually, those are just the semifinals or the is it semi or quarter first? Uh, quarter, I believe. Hmm. Then it's semifinals. Is it? Yeah. Between, of course, the Team Dignitas, TSM, and Curse, and CLG. So, hopefully, we get the following week after that will probably be the finals. Um, but yeah. Now, the one thing is, have you heard anything about Gamescom, Dread? Nope. I have been following a little bit of Gamescom. Um, I've been watching, um, actually, the... What game is that? Oh, man, what game is that? Uh, CSGO. I've been watching that a lot. Uh, they have... Oh, yeah, Counter-Strike. Oh, yeah. Um, Cloud9. <laughs> I'm sorry, say it, man. Um, Cloud Nine's got several teams, just like a lot of these big teams. They got a whole bunch of teams. They play a whole bunch of games, get in a whole bunch of everything, and they first round they beat the living. I mean, came back, and this is I I want do want to set this up. And if you guys do understand CS:GO, um, it's the first 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 team to sixteen wins. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm, if it's 16, cause there's, there's several rounds. I don't, I don't know any, I don't know everything that I'm supposed to know and I'm not going to pretend to. Um, it has to be a lot cause they shot got them out pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, uh, and then like every three matches they switch sides and then, you know, it's just, but basically the <clears throat> score was two to eight, uh, for the Poland team or the Finnish team. I don't know what flag is. It's white, red, and blue in that order. Um, but it's, uh, they, 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 they were just stomping and well, they switched sides and then cloud nine, won three or four in a row and then lost one and won three or four in a row and they started coming back. Well, in double overtime, you guys know anything about CSGO cloud nine did come across. I think it was a Holland team, if I'm not mistaken, but I'm gonna I'm, say, that's definitely not Finnish. I'm stupid <laughs> anyway. So, um, Finnish flag is the, uh, cross, the blue cross on the white. Well, you know, it was. I can't remember. I don't know exactly oh, red, what. Uh, red, white, blue lines, right? It's it in in this order: white, blue, and red. Well, Holland is red, white, and blue. So I, I don't know. Maybe it was Holland. I don't know. Um, but but yeah, you guys do want to watch that? Uh, check it out, guys. They they do have a stream. Um, and I'm trying to find it right now. Of course, I didn't favorite it. Of course. Um, if you type in Twitch and Gamescom, it should come up. If, or, or type t Gamescom in Twitch, it should come up to uh, channels. And there's several channels that are not just from Gamecoms, but from other people as well. So, you guys go check that out. A few more things that we're going to hit up. Darius and Diana. We do do our rotating champions of the week. I'm kind of going through this a little quicker. Uh, just because I want to get some time talking about Dongate and Diablo. Um, but, uh, Darius and Diana guys, they're not like huge special champions right now. Um, um, and from most of it, they're actually not used. I mean, every now and then you'll see a Darius up top that guy really knows how to play or he plays into a comp that just wor works right. Okay. Uh, Darius has, uh, several abilities. Um, the, his passive is, uh, hemorrhage, Darius makes his attack damage, abilities causes enemies to bleed. That's it. More bleeds, more power, and it's plus 30% bonus AD, magic damage for 5 seconds. Uh, it's something that will actually, if he, if he gets ahead a little bit, and it makes you bleed, and you just try to trade with Darius, if you don't have sustain, you're gonna die very, very quickly. Just from his yeah. passive. 
Darius punishes the hell out of people who try to stand toe to toe with him. Yeah. Mm, Darius uh, also does a decimate, swings his axe, dealing physical damage to all enemies within 425 radius around him. It's not very long or not very high. But it actually, be careful you don't get in it because it does do some damage later in levels. And then if he ganks you in with his, um, wow, well, with his apprehend, yeah. And it does more damage if you hit him at a certain distance, right? Mm. I think the max distance is does more damage. Yeah, the spin. Um, um, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say I just I, I remember because when I played, uh, he was one of the characters I played a, a lot. Mm -hmm. and, I'm assuming he's not nearly as strong as he was back then, but uh, he's he's <laughs> he's coming he's still back. pretty strong, probably. I mean, now when Darius does catch up to you, his basic attacks, he does do a no was it closer. I can't remember. It was it longer or closer? Because I know it did more damage at one point. Uh, it does more damage. It stacks more damage from decimate. Okay. And of course, no. our 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 in-house uh, correction uh, guy, Cantil, he he does correct us when we are wrong about League of Legends because we don't want to be wrong. But I have to double check that because that doesn't sound right. Uh, I'm looking at it right here. Okay, uh, decimate Darius swings his act. Champions moved. Uh, champions more than 270 units away with him are hit by this axe blade will take 50% more additional or 50% additional damage. That's what I thought it did. So yeah. more the further you are away past 270 units and that's about halfway through his circle um you take 50% more damage. So now the only way what you want to do is skirt spin and then pull him in. Mm -hmm. You uh, well you pull him in yeah. Well no you want to spin then pull. Yeah. <laughs> Active uh crippling strike for his E Darius next to attack bane, uh, deals bonus damage and slows the target movement speed and attack speed for two seconds. So uh, it's crippling strike does lots of, I mean, it slows you down. It's only two seconds, but within two seconds, Darius can bring you from 100 to zero. Moba, two, two seconds. seconds is, uh, two seconds in a MOBA is like forever. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, uh, his, his ultimate, of course, the Noxian guillotine. Uh, Darius leaps into the air and does a kind of, you know, a Demacia move. A Demacia! And just blows you up um, with a devastating blow. And he's just like an overhand axe, and he jumps up in the air and just dunks the hell out of you. In a dunk cute, comp, man. Darius Jarvin. Oh, yeah. If you, anybody wants to play threes with me, we're going to do a dunk, dunk comp in threes. Darius Jarvin and, and, and Jax. So if you guys want to play that. We're really we're really susceptible to, you know, somebody just building health. But for those kind of people that can actually get in there and just do so much damage that you can't build right, let's do it, guys. <laughs> yeah, Teal Sam. But yeah, more information on the ult. The more stacks of uh, bleed you have on the enemy, the more damage it does, and it does true damage, meaning the damage cannot be mitigated. Yes. So. Um, but yeah, then the hemorrhage and, and what he's talking about, guys, with his, he, that's what he was talking about, the alt. When you hemorrhage somebody, you give them that bleed for uh, the five seconds. But that does, that bleed does stack up five times. So at a full five stacks, you got 150% bonus AD, magic damage over the duration. Darius gains 5% movement speed for each bleed on each champion. So if he bleeds all five champions... And you bleed him a couple of times, and you got three champions with three or four or five stacks on, and you dunk, you can dunk, 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 dunk. Because after you get, if you kill somebody on your dunk, you get a reset. And that's what makes it so da dangerous, because he gets the bonus damage from the bleeds, and then he gets bonus damage from the bleeds because of his ult. Because his ult gets more damage. And then he gets damage bonus damage from killing because somebody with his ult. Yeah. Of the bleeds. It's so, just, Derek, you don't shut him down early first 10 minutes, he's done. He's pretty much going to spin, pull you in, and do that. So, it hey, gets pretty rough. And we're going to wait yeah. for confirmation from our our, uh, our uh, professional analyst. <laughs> I'm saying it. Sorry, dude. We need to have, just have... Scenario. I think we just need to have Cantil on the show. <laughs> for, for our League of Legends segments. <clears throat> and, uh, you're, you're moving on to uh, Diana? Is it? I am. Diana it is. 
Diana has lately has fallen out of favor um, with this new meta with the the 4.1 and the 4.2, 4.3, 4. blah 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 blah. Uh, all these this past three or four new patches, but she is starting to come back, guys. Her abilities are as follows: her Q is a Moon Silver Blade. Every third attack cleaves nearby enemies. That right there is actually pretty nice. It is. Um, it's her W Crescent Strike. When you see that big arrow, that big old crescent coming in for a strike, you can dodge that very, very easy. But if you do get hit by it, it unleashes a bolt of lunar energy that travels in, a, in an arc. Enemies struck by the magic damage are afflicted by a moon, moonlight, granting sight of them for three seconds. So if you get hit, it's okay. It's 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 okay. It's not a really big deal. But if you're trying to get away and she's trying to burst you down, and she hits you with a crescent strike. She's going to reveal you for three seconds, which is going to allow her to jump on you or any of her teammates to get on you very very quickly, and then it's just over. Yes. Yeah, whatever the case, that makes walls very useless to you. Which um, is now bad. now Yasio. Yasio walls can block those, but you have to put it right because it can go around the wall. That's the thing. So uh, you actually have to make sure that you're you're set up for that, and you actually you know if you any like just like any champion, you just shut her down early, and you you make her get behind. Diana is one of those champions where it's not that easy to get back into the game once you're behind. You have to play from behind and just pick your spots. Um, there are a few people that you can get behind and just come right back into it and you're already in the game again. Um, right. If you play safe with Diana, um, and, and she's mostly, li mostly mid lane, I do see her in the jungle, and I actually see her top lane. I've seen her a couple games uh, the other day in top lane. So you just play slow, slow player, and actually, you know, if she goes aggressive, you know, get some help from your jungler. If your jungler wants to be a dick and you die, that's just what happens. <laughs> And for okay. her E, Pale Crusade, Diana gives a temporary absorption shield and creates three spheres to orbit her both up for five seconds. The spheres detonate on contact with enemy unit, dealing magic damage to the, all nearby enemies. If these spheres detonate, the shield will be reapplied and the duration is refreshed. The second shield stacks the originals with the original shield. So you can have two shields. Um... And it just does, it does damage. Uh, it's not very it, the the to me the the ratio scaling for this um, is a little bit low in my eyes. But it only has a ten second cooldown, so it really doesn't. You can keep well, it up the whole fight if you really want to. The ratio needs to be low because again, you got to remember it has a potential of hitting three times. Mm -hmm. so, especially since it's small little AOE burst, that'd be kind of silly if it had a high ratio. Well, you know. Well, team burst, man. You just fly in there and be like, "Oh, it's okay. I got my, I got my E. Don't worry." About it. <laughs> and her E, <laughs> her E is Moonfall. Diana draws in all nearby enemies to her location, slowing uh, them for two seconds afterwards. Uh, the slow is 35, 45, 40, 35, 40, 45, 50, and 55 percent. So, um, it's it's. It's actually it's a good for what she does and her burst burstiveness burst burst burstiness, burstiness yeah I was like burstive uh, burstiveness burst burstiveness words yeah <laughs> words are too hard um but um then you have her ultimate which is lunar rush day and it becomes a living uh embodiment of the vengeful moon rushing into enemies dealing magic damage to it. When you use, when used to teleport to an enemy afflicted with moonlight, lunar rush cooldown is refreshed, and the moonlight debuff is consumed. All our enemies have the moonlight debuff removed, regardless whether they were the target of lunar rush or not. Because remember that your 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 uh, your crescent strike does grant sight with moonlight, but only for three seconds. So. If you're not targeted and stuff, you you basically one, two, three, and then you're away. Especially if you're running away in the in the in the first place. So, those are a couple champions of the week that that aren't really the strongest champions, but they are being played now. Um, they something that uh, I I really can't wait to. Um, and I'm actually I don't play either of them. I've been I've been trolling on Blitz lately. Who doesn't troll on Blitz? <laughs> oh, I, I, I do. All the time. 
And I'll make a video saying, oh, the grabs. And then, like, my Blitz thing is Blitzcrank sitting there, you know, with his arms in the air. And it says, you mad, bro? High cooldown. <laughs> high cooldown, heavy AP Blitz. Do it. That's the way to go. Uh, I actually I actually run uh, support bruiser, so I have like AD. Um, oh god, yeah, that punch, dude. <laughs> I, I run support bruiser, and then I run AP. Uh, um, let's see, I run the 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 AD marks, the the armor seals, uh, the magic resist glyphs, and then I run movement speed and AD for my. I know. Quits. <laughs> dude, it's not even funny. I, I dude, I hate AD. you, Blitz. I love you too. I, I know heavy I, I, AD. I, 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 I. Heavy AD high crit blitz is ridiculously insane. You're just like pull double damage punch <laughs> crit for can't, like two thousand. You can't you can't crit that high anymore. Oh, you can't crit that anymore. Oh, that's so. You sad. can, but it's a really really low percent. You got to have your crit. I mean, you're basically wasting all your build on crit. And then yeah. if you don't get that where you can one shot somebody damn near, it has to be somebody that's like a an ADC that has no help from anybody else. Well not even an ADC because they can just uh, run away uh, and just beat your ass. I'm gonna go back into my radical building. Um I, I I radically built so bad in that game. Like I did so many obscene crazy things. <laughs> uh if I'm going to do crit stuff, dude, I start with my page that puts me with the passives and my uh, page. I'm already at 256% crit damage when the game starts. <laughs> Damn. So when you get the infinity, dude, you jump over to 306%. So, I mean, 306% damage on a crit, that's insanely painful. <laughs> I don't think you get that high anymore. I'm pretty sure you can. I, uh... I ran that with the uh, the gangplank, man. Those bullets, damn near uh, three fourths someone's health on level one. It's pretty good. Nice. That is it for our league talk this week, guys. Make sure you guys do check out those playoffs um, that that are happening here. Very, very like like I said, alliance is happening right now. Uh, make sure you guys check those guys out. And just a, a little heads up for you guys to. See who's doing what. It looks like Lions has. Did they win game two? Nope, they did not. Not yet. So They're still playing. Yep, they are playing game two. Game one did go like I said, uh, did go fairly well. Frog and uh, five, two, and four on Fizz. Wicked did play Alistar one, three, and five. Um, Nif did. Hey. Nif played. Um, who is this chick? My God, they have some weird oh, team comps. Nami, going on right now. Uh, Tabs was playing Cogmaw, and of course Shook was on Lee Sin, and uh, Fnatic. Um, it doesn't say uh, their depth charts are gone for some reason. You, uh, let's see. It's weird, but yes, I'm, I'm looking at some of this. It just bothers me a little bit. So what I've been seeing, like there was a uh, Lucian mid, and a there's a. Um, that's something that we'll talk about right before we're gonna. I'm gonna we'll talk about that now because um, there are several things that people are doing now, and you guys know that a lot of times you can take an AD mid, um, you know, Riven, uh, Kha'Zix if if it's the right matchup. You have a Zed, you have Yasuo, you have a whole bunch of um, now lately in some of the like I've been seeing it in solo queue actually too. You have Tristana that's been going mid, Lucian that's been going mid, Misfortune that's been going mid. All these champions can go mid because they have somewhat of movement, uh, uh, you know, some some movement help. Now Misfortune doesn't, but with her range and her, you know, her her rain, um, I can't remember what it's called, the rain of bullets or whatever it's called. Um, she can farm effectively bullets. and actually. Uh, oh, make it rain. Yeah, make it rain. She can farm effectively uh, in the mid lane. It is fairly difficult, especially if you go into a bursty champion uh, like a LeBlanc, a Katarina, um, you know, that can actually just one-shot you if they really want to. Uh, so right. you just got to play safe and play carefully. Um, depending on what's going on today, we have some, some Dawngate stuff that we have to do today. Um, but I might get on there and maybe play some and record some of those uh, ADC mid laners. So I'll see what happens. Uh, uh 
Jinx top threw me off too. I have no idea what that. Uh, Jinx that. top is just somebody going in and trolling. Seriously. Oh, trolling during an event like this? That they went Jinx sense. top. Where? Yeah, it was a Jinx top. I... Where? That's what I was trying to say. I was like, look at that. I was like, what is happening? Where? <laughs> in the uh, LCS 2014 UE regionals, there was a Jinx top. I was you? Here looking at. It. I was looking at it right now. Yeah. Um, that's why I was like, "What is this?" Jinx. I don't know where you're seeing that at. Let's oh, see. They're all they're kind of grouped up now, but Jinx was top, and yeah, she's heading back up top. Are now. you watching the actual game? Yeah. Oh, Jinx is ADC. They just yeah. he just rotated. How far in the how far in the game are you? They don't look like they're high enough levels to be rotating like that yet. Um, unless they did, like, right now, everybody's mid. No, yeah, she's back up top, dude. I think Jinx is their top character. Yeah. Uh, you're watching the LCS 2014 EU Regionals Game Comms Day 4, Day 5? Yeah. Fnatic versus Alliance. That was weird. Yeah. That's huh. why I was just taking special note of it, because, you know, something like that just kind of stands out. I was just kind of like, uh, okay, sure. Right, well, it's... Um, I can tell you the team comp right here, right now. Um, Swain, uh, Swain went top. Uh, Evelyn was jungle. We had Kasten in the mid. Lucian and Nami in the bot. Uh, we had Moikai was the top for uh, Fnatic. Uh, Lee Sin in the middle. And there's one of those uh, double AD comps with Tristana, which is uh, their mid. And then you have Jinx and Braum in the bot. Now, right now, you can see Jinx up top by herself. Um, that's because they actually, everybody rotated. They they lane swapped or whatever, because if you look at it, you look down on the bottom. You have oh, you Sw see Swain at? Hold on. Swain's on the bottom. Yeah, he's on the end. I was talking about the team that had Jinx. They don't have, who would their top be? Lee Sin? Moikai. Moikai? Mm-hmm. Huh. If you look at it right now, you got Jinx and, and Brahm up top with Lucian and, and Evelyn and Nami. Oh, they just lane swapped, man. Guy. Okay. Yeah, they big just shield guys, Brahm. Yes, I'm they just lane enough. swapped. And, and you see LCS teams doing that all the time. The, and now to the point that, and Cantillo can confirm this for me, uh, doing a lane swap in a game is not that easy. It's, it but seemed it, a little... Well, the only reason I was questioning it is because I was looking at the levels. I mean, they're like very level 10, so that's why I was like, uh... Is she oh, they, they'll, lane, they'll lane swap at lane one, at level 1. I played so, a game the other day, uh, yesterday, and um, I was playing Blitzcrank, and I had Vayne for a carry. And I said, first 10 minutes, you farm your ass off. After that, I'm leaving lane and I'm roaming. She's like, deal. I got her three kills in the first five minutes, and within that, I was like, all right, have a good time. She's like, all right, have a good game. And I left her the <laughs> whole time. She farmed solo by herself. By the time we got to team fight in about 20 minutes, we went and took Dragon. They tried to take it from us. I pulled him in, and Vayne literally one-shot the bitch. I was like, are you serious? I didn't even have time to get my fist off. But Weird. Yes, that is the, that's, that's what's going on. I'll explain to you more about that here in the future as well. All right. uh, we are going to get out of League of Legends because we we took way too much time in that, of course, and get into uh, the Dawn Gate segment. We now we do want to let you guys know that we're 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 doing as much as we can. Um, we we have quite a few games that we're playing. As you guys know me, I'm kind of to the point where I'm like, oh, I don't want to play too many games because then I'm like all low level on all these games. Yeah. So, um, we do have Dawn Gate. We do both play it. We're kind of taking a little bit of a breather on it right now because we've been playing so much of it. Um, hopefully, in the near future, they're going to be getting a solo dual queue. When they do get that solo dual queue, you guys will see me and Dreadnought on there all the fucking I time. So. I'm, um, I can't stand doing ranking the, for YOLO. The only time. reason that I don't play Dawn Gate as much right now is because you can't team up with at least just one other person. You know, it has to be, if, if you're going to affect your ranking, it has to be solo. Well, that'll work like maybe one or two games. But if you get constant feeders and constant, con you know, losses and losses and losses, you're not going to want to play because I started in bronze in this game, and I'm almost gold already. 
um, the way to, to move up is all you got to do is just win more games because it's not a ranking system as you see, you know, you're in, you're in 17th place, you win, you're in 15th place. It's not like that. It does. They don't have that yet. <coughs> it's basically you win. I started at 12,000, um, uh, bronze elo. Um, now I'm, uh, I went through the bronze and I went past silver and I'm almost a silver up to the top silver tier um which is good because i'm i'm freaking the last 10 games i went seven and three so it kind of helped i'm back above more wins than losses now which is good oh man what's up oh, i was just looking at that I dropped a little bit yesterday makes me sad so we are going to get right into dawn gate and um dreadna would you like to do this one uh yeah um that is bright hold on i need to make this where it doesn't make it so bright mm -hmm. if you didn't notice my face just lit up like all crazy uh okay what i have listed on here to talk about ranking system Be right back. uh oh, i hate it when you do that <laughs> please talk i'll go it's I'll coffee go. dude coffee Right. Diet. Uh, so back in what he was yeah, yeah right. Back in what he was talking about with the ranking system. Ranking system does not work like a traditional ranking system game. Uh, League of Legends, if I recall, goes what purely off of uh, win rate. Is that what League of Legends does? Uh, for the most part, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dawn Gate it accounts everything. Um, you have your win rate, which is uh, you have your win rate, your kills, your assists. Uh, it calculates in your double kills, your triple kill, you know, multi kills and all that too. Uh, your, you know, your uh, kill death ratio. It takes all of that and adds it in, and that's how you come up with your uh, MMR, which is your uh, your ranking. And uh, so that means you know you just can't sit back and be carried up to victory. You actually have to participate in the game to get to get the ranks. You need to be getting the kills. You need to be getting the assists and. Uh, so even if you don't win, you can still mitigate your losses from losing if you perform well. So, you know, if you lose and you still come out on top of the, you know, a score maybe like 9-2, you're still going to be fine. So it's not really a big... I mean, win rate isn't as big a deal in the uh, Dawn Gate uh, ranking system as it is with the uh, league system. As he was talking about originally, you could go in with how well any any play, any play you were playing um, in Dawn Gate would count for your ranking. Your MMR would go up; it'd be calculated no matter how many people you were partying with, and whatnot. They put an end to that because people were getting carried to uh, higher ranks by you know people who were already there. You have someone who makes a newer account, then they get ranked in with somebody who's already in the hot you know top Q system, and they'll. Uh, pull in games with players that are really good and then they'll just get carried up to high ranking as well. They put an end to that. You can only rank up now with uh, solo. There's no other option. Soloing, that's your only rank point. Mm -hmm. um, so that takes care of the ranking system talk. So, yeah, I got it all done before you got back. Everything? The ranking system, anyways. Uh, I don't know. Do you want to cover that one? Yeah, I got. It. I got. I'll do the rest. Um, the, the one the I have underneath that, or? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I was talking about in general, but yeah. Um. Now, there's a lot of things that people ask. Um, we've been getting a few questions lately. And, and asking, you know, people ask, you know, what are good key team compositions as far as roles, characters, items? Now, there's there's several several ways you can set up your team. Now, there's, uh, we told you before, there's four to primary roles. There's Guardian, there's tra ta tach Tactician, Hunter, and Predator. Guardian is your Farmer. Tactician is your support slash. You got to poke enemy uh, shapers. Gladiator. gladiator. What did I say? Guardian. Guardian. Gladiator. Yeah. 
the guardian is your 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 nexus basically um the the gladiator your tactician which is your your uh, your farmer and your your support character slash they they poke the enemy shapers you have your hunter which is going to be your jungler and then you have your predator which your predator actually goes off and farms off of enemy shapers now if you have at least one hunter and one guardian <laughs> gladiator <laughs> i don't know because now you can have at least two gladiators and you don't have to have a hunter but if you do have a hunter, all them jungle creeps that that hunter kills, he's getting bonuses from those. He's getting, you know, um, a little bit of bonus damage uh, in in the, in the later game. He's getting, you know, every time he kills a creep, he gets healed. Um, there's just so many benefits to a hunter. Now you don't have to have one. We've had games to where Dreadnought is in the jungle and he's a primary jungle, uh, a hunter role, and he'll go instead of taking hunter, he'll take predator. And then gank, he'll be like a Lee Sin ganking every two seconds in, in either lane. He's not really farming at all in the jungle. He is, but he's really not. And then he just ganks, bam, 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 and he just farms champ, farms shapers. So by the time you get... Basically... Go ahead. Basically, jump in the jungle as a predator. Just kill creeps to get levels. Use levels to kill champs. That's it. It's not your primary source of money. Get levels, get skills, get in there, get kills. Just keep moving. <laughs> now, um, now you can have now the, what 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 we usually run and what I usually see in Dawngate is we have one gladiator, that's normally me. Um, we have two tacks, one hunter and one predator. Um, now, the 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 only problem with that is my lane. I love for a predator to be in my lane because one is if the predator is actually poking the champions all right and doing what he's supposed to do keeping them away from me letting me farm and then all of a sudden they go in on him and then i go in on them as soon as they're getting ready to die i back off let that predator get a kill if if it's going to be to where they're they might get away i will take the kill but of course the predator it's not just kills that he gets bonuses from it's also assists of course it's it's cut in half from what the assists have uh, or from what the kills give him, but still he's getting little bonuses, getting little bonus. He can finish a piece of gear now. He can, you know, finish an item now. He can actually get stronger. So there's just there's a lot that you can do, and, and like just like when you guys start playing League of Legends, um, there's so many things that you can and that you that you don't think you can't do, but you probably can because this game is wide open, guys. Uh, Dawn Gate, the 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 title of the game is Dawn Gate let's break the meta that's the title of the game there's nothing you can't do um now there are a few champions or a few shapers in this game that if you take them in the jungle they're not even going to get level two before they die so um <laughs> you, yeah, you they, gotta be they don't have the they don't have the stopping power you gotta have power. the base stats too i mean like you know a bosco uh um a uh kahan what's his name kahan K-A-H. Oh, Kagan. Kagan. Uh, Kagan, you know, that has that base, Kagan. that has that base beefiness, okay? That has the base health that he can su suffice in the jungle for two or three camps. Because once you get that, you got two or three camps, you got level two, you go to your next spot, you got level three, you go to your next spot, you get level four, and you're getting healed the whole time, so now you're good. Um, and that would be even with a squishy, uh, squishy shaper, but it's just so hard to start you got to have somebody following you around the jungle for the first three or four camps just to get you level four, and then you're sharing experience, so you're not you're way behind. So it's just, it's just terrible. Or if your character has pretty heavy damage output, uh, you know, kill them faster than they kill you. And potions plus the, the healing of the jungle from Hunter, you're pretty set for you. you can, uh, if, you're, if you're good enough, you can clear your entire side of the jungle before having to return back. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's a little difficult, even on heavy characters like, you know, Volick and Kagan and them, because the tankier your character, the less base damage they have. So it's kind of a trade off, really. But, you know, that's what it is. Go ahead. Um, ideally, though, one of the main uh, team comp things people go for is they want a gladiator in each lane. 
they want a farmer in each lane, uh, either accompanied by, as you said, a tactician or a predator, and then they want a jungler. Most of the time, people will get confused if you try going in the jungle with something that's not a jungler. I mean, that's not a hunter, but it can happen. I have had a game already that um, I said, hey, guys, let's do it. I, I want to try it. I'm, I'm trying out to see if it works. If you guys wanted to do it, let's do it. I want two predators, no tacticians. And they're like, why? I was like, okay, each lane, take a predator. Guess what? You guys are going to be our killing machines. And they're like, yeah, right, whatever. Uh, it worked. Oh, my God, it worked. Well, yeah, it's because you have your farmers making their money, and then when you get aggressive, you get the predators steamrolling once you get a kills and assist on them. And money lane, money lane, money lane. That's what it is, dude. Mm -hmm. So it does work. And like I said, guys, it's it's the this game is to break it. Break the meta. Um, there is no meta in this game. I mean, there is of what works and what doesn't. But it's, a loose, it's loose, everything loose. is can be changed. All you have to do is understand the building and, and how to build your character, your shaper. Um, because if you're playing against a heavy magic damage lane, why in the hell are you going to build armor? Or why in the hell are you going to take life drain when you just need some magic resist? That's it. One piece usually covers it. It's just that easy. It's, it's, you, you pay attention to what they're building and how much damage you're doing. When you get killed, look at the death log. See what damage you took. If you took a shit ton of AP or uh, of magic damage and you build armor, I'm going to be the first one to call you a dumbass. Just because, you know, why? If you're gonna, well, if, as with all games, people get set in their ways. I mean, you know, you have the habits that carry on from other games. And I've had this problem, too, because... You go in there, you're soloing, and you're like, all right, let's see what we got. And then everybody just starts having these assumptions. And then, oh, you know, you can't do that. That's not how that's supposed to work. It's like, uh, you do realize you're playing a game where you can actually do stuff if you, you have You do anything you want. Do so. So if you can, if you have the skill to build it and play it the way you intended to play it, and it works, it works. There's really nothing that says otherwise. And Spathy Zilla, what's going on, Gavin, uh, buddy? Uh, Spathy Zilla said, Team Comp is way overrated. Um, and he's true. The Team Comp in, in a Don Gate, it's really not shit. Now, I can say if you have a jungler that goes like squishy, like they play Moya or some shit like that, that's not very tanky, that you don't really have a front line, there is a possibility where your Team Comp just fucked you in the face. Um, but it's, you gotta have your it's, durability. it's to the point where any team comp can beat any team comp. I had a, 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 a team comp full of freaking Basco like dudes, uh, that we were playing against. First time we got our asses kicked. The second time I played them, we won because they played the same thing. Guess what? This is all you have to do. Everybody get ranged champions and we're going to kite for days Adapt, really. Um, I went Amrith, I got a couple, uh, pent, uh, couple, uh, tri, uh, was it Omni kills. Yeah, I know. I know the one thing that's a big meta in the game, and I can understand why, is because uh, bruisers. Bruisers are the top right now because mm -hmm. if you if you can build there, man, bruisers are scary. You just see a giant, like an army of beef tanks just running at you, and you're just like, oh, God, they have damage. Why? <laughs> right. Well, and, and it's something, too, that uh, uh, it's it's basically like with what you said, the team cop. You, you can come off or, you know, come off, and we, we're playing against a bunch of bruisers. Of course, we lose. But then we say, okay, next time, if we ever play against those guys again, this is what we're going to do. You know, you just adjust to the game. If you can adjust to the game, to any game, you're you're good. Knowing the uh, items, that is one of the biggest key in Dawn Gate because items have very specific abilities, which can change an entire situation. Now there are um, there are there are uh, suggested item builds in the game, kind of like League of Legends and 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 Dota two. Uh, but, you know, you just got to look at what you're, you know, read your character, read his passive. You know, what does he do? Is he, is he somebody like Vex that needs uh, attack speed and maybe some life drain? Sure. 
You know, don't go freaking full AD on Vex when he needs a he's an attack speed champion. Or, or shaper. having items that you know do you splash know? damage on top of your alt splash damage. Oh, dude, you know, stuff like no, that. yeah, that's good. I yeah. I I get my freaking my my potency and my uh uh the one for uh, that I get with Amorth uh, all the time, the chaos. The one that yeah, the chaos. <laughs> and then uh, for for Vex, you get the uh, the fragmentation one. Well, you get the yeah the one that the the purple one that looks like stars, like the desecration. Yeah. it's like called like desecration or something like that. You hit so, yeah yeah it's like his oh, okay vex is all when you shoot yeah uh, your base attacks it splits off and hits everything behind yeah, it. Yeah, it's like Cogma. Uh, it, it's there's a, an it's item a, out there. There's an item out there that uh, on top of your base attacks, if you're using his all, it shoots fragmentations that hit all other shapers around it. So you're doubling up his uh, splash damage from his all. And uh, throw things like, uh, you know, chaos and all that. You get a lightning bolt flying around with that. It's just splash, 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 splash. Right. It's amazing. Um, and then uh, what I'm trying to say is items are the uh, big key to winning, like, you know, based on situation. Let's say uh, you brought a Moya, right? Uh, mm -hmm. If you're having a Moya that's causing you trouble, the one thing you need either your tactician or your heavy damage dealers to build is a duress. Uh, what duress does is auto attacks snare the enemy to the ground for a second, mm -hmm. and uh, it, you can't use it on the same target for five seconds. But my point is, you get that one snare off on her; she no longer can zoom off. She'll probably die during that one second. And and to when you're playing as somebody like a um, like a, a Bosco or somebody that's just beefy freaking tanky. Um, and I'm going to tell this to everybody, for people that play it, that don't play it, if you're going to start play it. If you're going against a tanky tank uh, front line, and, and one, of your, to one or more of your members don't have wither, you just need to quit the game and uninstall. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm tired of people taking... And I'm, like a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a burst mage. I'm not going to take wither, okay? Not for me. I'm going to take blink. I'm going to take drain. I'm going to take... You know, a stasis or, <coughs> you know, or, survival tools. You know, a survival tools. I'm not going to take Wither. Why am I going to take it? You, well, you get it. You're the range. You can get away. You're the freaking tank. You take it. Well, I need my, I need this and I need my blitz and all. No, you don't. And again, um, back to items. But that. Beef, sti beef tanks. Uh, decay and uh, potency. Both do percentage health. Mm hmm. That 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 item that he was talking about earlier that you're gonna build time into clarity and then to build clarity into fate, um, fate like he said uh, deals damage the base attacks fire sh shrapnel up to three enemies the target each dealing forty percent initial damage detail uh, to the primary target fate applies on hit and other damages item effects will not. Uh, propagate effects that apply only to the primary target so it's just his alt is splits off and then now his fate splits off and then if you get some but something and you build into an energy and a chaos then you're getting more area damage so you you say with vexed and you sit there and pop his alt and you have at least your 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 chaos and your fate oh my god good luck if you're tanks doing what they're doing dude vex eats teams like he walks in pops all his alt with items like that Teams just disappear. Yeah, they just he's poof, he's magic like trick. he's like an end game Corky or not end game an end game Cogma. Uh, seriously, just that gone. just eats. And he <laughs> and if you guys think about it, and you guys want, and I'll and I'll and I'll do this from time to time, and I'll and I'll say you know this champion's like this shaper. Um, this you know Vex is exactly like Cogma. He has very low uh, movability. Um, he doesn't blow up at the end. That would be cool. Um, but he does. He does his AOE damage. Uh, Vex shoots out a, a thing of spikes. I mean, we'll get into that later when we do uh, uh, shaper profiles or anything like that. If we're gonna do them, right. but he's he's a lot like Kogma. Uh, not a, a lot, lot of mobility, but really Kogma. more. He's a lot more dangerous than Kogma too. So oh, yeah, <clears throat> he eats teams. Mm -hmm. and that's what he does. That's now, his whole role. We do plan on still doing a a jungle um of item and 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 video we we haven't got to that because of one um it's really kind of hard unless we're gonna do a custom game um i don't know jungle at all <laughs> and i wanted dreadnought to do it because that's his main um unfortunately dawn gate hasn't got the system of spectating yet um if it right, comes I down to it where people really really want it we'll go into a custom match and 
I'll get a couple people from the gang that actually plays it. We'll have a custom match, and then that way they can, you know, at least one person per lane can farm, and then, you know, you can do your pathing and how to do it, and then I'll watch or I'll follow you through it or something. But yeah, that way you can hover around mm -hmm. and all that. Yeah. Or I'll leave my my shaper in the base, and then I'll just cursor on you the whole game. Yeah, just follow around. Yeah, that's one thing they don't have. But, they don't have the ability to walk onto other characters. But it but it is coming, guys. So you know, don't freak out. We're we're kind of in the mix i'm still trying to get a uh, an actual seasoned player um i'd say pro player but it's not pro yet but uh it's a uh, glg thor hopefully we can get him uh, on sometime or just even record an interview with him to uh, get his points and views and of course in the jungle because he's a jungle main as well so i'm working on uh i'm working on it and it's working out pretty well that smurf account's coming up pretty good mm -hmm. i'm currently at uh 10 wins and four losses right now dude yeah, but you got to get 50 games. Good luck. I know, but still, I'm over 70%. Right? I'm at like a 71.8 right now, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, you'll you'll get into the probably the, 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 the uh, what, the diamond tier? Yeah, I'll probably jump into diamond and then try to work my way up to a champion. But, yeah. You know, a couple hopefully. more points here, guys, and then we're going to get into some Diablo talk, and then we're going to finish it up. Got about 20 minutes left in this show. Um, we do have now, do you want to get into some of the lore this week? Um, all you, you know, I don't know. I'm debating because that might take a little, little bit of time. There's a lot to discuss there. Okay. Well, put that down for next week's show. Um, we might have to have if, do like a if, special, if we, we can get a lure, uh, a lure presentation or not a presentation, but some lure talk on, on Diablo, and what Diablo actually is behind the scenes. Um, the forever trying uh, for special guests for Dawn Gate for community guys. So if you guys are a Dawn Gate player and you guys do want to be on the Sunday Dose to conversate with us, even just during our Dawn Gate segment, please give us an email. Send us a, a voicemail. Uh, voicemail is 206-415-4987. And, of course, our email is you can mail us at mail at geekyantics.net. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, that's uh, for anybody that wants to play. Uh, now, yeah. in the future here, um, I'm still trying to get a, a schedule going. Um, we're going to be streaming uh, some Dawn Gate and some, some other games that we're actually going to be playing in the morning time uh, when we're Dawn both. Dawn Gate, Payday, Diablo. Yeah, those three primarily um, be just because I'm not going to I'm not going to stream League. I might do some recordings, but I'm not going to stream it. League of Legends is so mainstream that i'm sick of mainstream and i've watched yeah, the legends freaking <laughs> lcs stuff but anyway but that, well, that is totally like talking coming. about it it's hype i do i love talking i love talking about hype. Yeah. last segment that we get into guys before what's going on yogi keep people on their toes we're trying man i'm trying to stay on my toes as well last thing we're going to talk about diablo talk hardcore run throughs and gameplay now you guys do know we've been we've been bouncing on some, um, some Diablo. Hey, Dread. What's up? Hey, Cantil, are you still there? Let me see. Is he still? Yeah, Cantil is still there. Is he? Hey, still... welcome. Hey, what's up, BFT? Thanks for joining in for the, even if it's just for the last part. Welcome. Wait, who came? Uh, BFT nine thousand. I don't see him. Yeah, maybe a viewer list didn't populate. He's oh. not my viewer list. So, I mean. Oh, he's on the viewer list. Okay, I'm, I'm looking for people actually in chat. That's how you check the people that are on the I viewer know. in chat. Can't heal so. you there? Yeah. I'd like him to come on and talk about Diablo. Because he, he knows about a lot about it too. Oh, I see a Diablo guy too? Oh yeah, like I said, him and Doc are both Diablo. They have 70s on EU. That's where I played. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I got my 70s, but I'm, I'm sticking to the hardcore buffs, you know. Work in the morning, so this is what I'm Oh, BFT, yeah, man, dude, it's, cool, dude. it's all good, brother. Really appreciate you showing up. And if you did miss anything in the beginning, you guys can't listen to it. it uh, um, uh, I usually get this uh, this uh, show to Yogi within the first, next, you know, couple hours after we're done. And he's usually, he's usually got it up on Stitcher and iTunes um, by tomorrow. So uh, you it's definitely have... Exactly, so... Um, but, uh, getting into it, and I, I was looking for Cantillo because he does know quite a bit about, uh, the Diablo, 
But we'll get into a difficulty steps, rewards. Dread. This well, is this is your this is all you, buddy. Basically, higher difficulty you go, the more experience, gold, and drop chance you have. Mm -hmm. uh, but the enemies become really hurtful and very tanky. So unless you're building correctly or getting your items upset, don't move up unless you think you can actually deal with it. Uh, especially in hardcore, as me and uh, me and Obi up here have been trying out. Things get a little hairy sometimes. We gotta we gotta leap out because <laughs> you get swarmed, get beat, and then you move on. But we but these new kids we've been running are pretty uh, pretty good. Uh, and, and for those that have, that that have been listening to for the last couple of weeks, we started two barbarians. Okay, heroic. Uh, he started his guy. I started my. Her name is Mina. You know, mean. Uh, haha. Um, and well, we kind of went to ham, <laughs> and we jumped into a big mob, but we didn't see the gold, and then the group of blues, and then the other group of blues that came, and we were on expert. Um, needless to say, uh, yeah. <laughs> I got dropped by uh, the boss. He got dropped, and... and I was like, "Fuck this!" I leaped out and leaped across to where they couldn't follow me, and I ran out of the. Uh, I ran out, and I was like, "I'm done." And I'm, they're like, oh, "Dude, run, run, That's run!" Good. And I'm like, "I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die!" And I kept leaping, leap, leap, leaping, trying to kill something. I would kill like one, and then run away. Kill, run, run away. And by the time I got it, um, he won. He beat the boss. Yeah, I actually beat him, but it was. <laughs> I mean, it I was. I died terribly. I mean, it, I was in there perma frozen, and then next thing I know, pfft, the dead. I popped. I'm like, no. I popped all my po. I had ten potions. The fight lasted that long to where I would go all the way down. I pop a potion, let it come up, go all the way down again, pop another potion. I used all my potions, which was, it was scary in the first place. But yeah, we do have. He is gone. We do have the barbarian, of course, and the wizard. He's got his wizard that's doing hellacious damage, and of course, um, oh, a barbarian. What the fuck? Um, <laughs> you know, he's he's kicking on about uh, almost twenty five hundred per hit. I'm at about nineteen hundred per hit, almost two k. It's just freaking regardless. It's just like stupid damage. Twenty five hundred base damage, popping up around six thousand damage a second with the uh, disintegrate beams and stuff like that. I mean, pretty good for around the level we're at, and it, it's it's. He just runs in, beefs it up, pulls mm -hmm. everybody in, and I just laser beam the hell out of him. It's pretty good. Yeah, we have a we have some stuff in that. If you guys can get to the the stream um, one morning, um, we're gonna try to we're gonna help Dreadnought um, start his streaming up, so he'll be able to stream as well. So and I'm I'm pretty sure more than likely he's gonna be streaming Diablo more than not. So. Um, my my two main games will be Diablo and uh, Dawn Gate, probably. And Maybe some smite. You know, I actually would like to throw some smite in there, and uh, probably payday whenever I get to play with you and. Uh, I, ah, damn it. Fortengard. Yeah, Fortengard. There you go. I, I have to get used to his name because I haven't. He's someone I've been talking to very recently. Right. The, you know, past few days. So bear with me if he sees this. I I'll get I'll get your name down. Don't worry. Yell at him next time we're on Fort. Yeah, he probably will. You! How oh, dare you! Ah. <laughs> wow. Um, for those that are wondering, you know, Payday 2, you guys check it out. Make sure you guys check out the video. Um, uh, Stan, can you link that video for me again, please, in chat? Make sure you guys check that video out for the Payday 2 on Geeky Antics. Make sure that you guys do comment because I am giving away... Well, I'm doing it, but it's for geekyantics.net. We're giving away a copy of Payday 2. So if you guys do want to play that with us, or just play by yourself. I don't, you don't have to play with us. We'd like if you did. But if you don't, just make sure you check out that video and post a comment. And then in a couple weeks, we're actually going to pick a winner right here. Uh, wow. On the Sunday Dose. You don't have we to really be... would love if you played with us. We really would. Oh, we'd, be, we'd love it. Um, you don't have to be present to win. Uh, if you do win, what's going to happen is I'm going to try to get a hold of you um, via via uh, Steam or Twitch, and you just make sure you know if somebody doesn't answer me within a couple of days, I'm going to assume they don't want the game. I mean, a new draw. You know, especially if it's the day after Sunday, I'm not going to sit there and do, do a new drawing Sunday afternoon. I would I would do a new drawing on Thursday. I mean, I'm going to give you guys a couple days to get it. You don't have to be present, but watch for it. We're going to put out another video saying the winner um, and some more gameplay. So 
hopefully that. But we're going to get on to more Diablo talk. Now, the real challenge, or should I say Dreadnought, what is the real challenge behind Hardcore? Uh, the real challenge behind Hardcore is making you keep up with your equipment. Because uh, sometimes, you know, you get in the heat of the moment of playing the game and you're progressing and you'll just uh, forget to upgrade and then the enemies will just eventually overwhelm you. You got to be on your equipment all the time. Make sure you're upgrading like every single level or two and just keep going, you know? Cold coffee. Um, eh, cold coffee's not bad. My wife loves it. She'll make a pot. Of, uh, she'll make a pot of coffee and just leave it there. I'm like, what are you doing? You're drinking coffee. I'm waiting for it to cool down so I can put it on ice. Well, I Nasty. usually do my, you know, fixing stuff and then put it in the fridge. But, anyways, yeah. Uh, basically, you just got to keep up your equipment. That's mm -hmm. how you live in hardcore. Always, always, every level, make sure you can get some new equipment, damage, you know, toughness, all of it. Now, when somebody, uh, go ahead. No, go ahead. go ahead. When somebody starts playing the game and they say, okay, I want to try a hardcore character, what are they generally going to expect when they get into that hardcore? I mean, do they need to turn up the difficulty right away? I mean, should they try it on normal first because it actually is hardcore? If you die, you're done? Or what? Um, I would say normally do about the first 10 levels on normal. And then after that, spike it up to uh, Unless hard. You're Unless you have, like, you know, you start leveling up your you know your vendors and all that and can, can keep up with your equipment actively, then, you know, stay on hard or go to expert if you're comfortable enough or have, the, you know, you think you know how to play the class you're playing enough to do so. Think you know. Yeah. So that, that's my only recommendation, you know, take it easy at first and then kind of keep easing into the difficulty and just don't stop because if you can keep progressing, you'll get better and better because, mm -hmm. again, difficulty equals in better equipment definitely so yeah and i know about for those that are not watch that don't watch tv okay eric has or dreadnought has a wonderful what is coming i mean what's going to happen here over about august 19th hype oh, train yes. august 19th in uh two days and this is if you're really into diablo and you have a next gen system uh, Diablo is going to be releasing on the Xbox One and the PS4. So, you know, get ready for that. It's going to be like uh, the new gen system. It's going to run quality. It's probably going to be like PC quality on the uh, console now instead of what, you know, the original ports were for uh, Xbox and PS3. Oh, it's all, so, it's I mean, going to be 1080. Oh, it's yeah. Gonna be, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look like a oh, computer probably playing it. Awesome. So, you know, get, get ready for that. Plus, it's going to have the nice controller con uh, controls it has before, and you can play the multiple people on the same screen. You have an Xbox, get four people, you know, play on your new gen console. Four four players at once on the uh, Xbox, man. And yes, the four players at once on the Xbox is very, very awesome on a 60-inch television. I tried it. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. It is. It really is. It makes a uh, cooperative play a lot easier. I mean, you know, one console, even if you have people who are like, oh, I don't want to own my own Xbox, you know, they can come over and have a character that they play exclusively just with you. That's theirs. Right. And BFT 9000 is like, hell yeah, dude. LOL D3 was good on console. Got a PS4 coming next month. Grats, dude. PS4 is the way to go. Screw Microsoft and their shenanigans or shenanigan bullshit that they try to pull. Oh, we're going out of business. No, you're not. We're gonna give eh. up. We're gonna give up our gaming. We're gonna sell off our gaming part of our Microsoft. No, you're not. Yeah, Stop lying, if Microsoft, everybody. If Microsoft broke off from Xbox, no wonder Dory cry. Broke I mean. off from Xbox. Microsoft created Xbox. I think they break off from. They're gonna break off from. That's their money maker. So right. It's, it's basically. Freaking, well, no, no. Money maker is their computer manufacturing, but. It's part of their money maker. I mean, dude. Uh, <laughs> what do we say on on horseplay that the PS4 sold 10 million units already? Well, or no, the Xbox yeah. sold 10... Was it Xbox or PS4? We were talking. PS4 was, sold over 10 million. Xbox sold around 5. Yeah, 5 million. That's it. Come on. Get rid of that shit or, or stop fucking everything up. Well, no, they have a solid system. They just didn't present it right. And they didn't do the... You know, they didn't handle it's crap. it right. That's all I got to say. It's crap. They didn't handle it right. They could have done better. 
So that being said, guys, make sure you guys do go check out that Diablo 3 is coming out on next gen. And that's in two days, guys. August 19th, 2014. Get hyped! Because that's, oh, that's yeah, what we're excited. doing. We don't really play console games. I really don't, but... I'm a, I'm a I, PC, bro, man. I can't... I have my console right here. You guys can hear it. Hear it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't even want to... Once a PC, bro, you can't go back. It's... Uh oh. Uh oh. Moobot. No, Moobot, leave BFT alone. <laughs> Did he get linked or something? Oh, no, he got message deleted. It. He got timed out. Why? I don't know. That doesn't make any uh, sense. Did you link something? Uh, Moobot's crazy. Don't no, if, if he said whoops, sorry. So if he linked something, then it Moobot he probably blew did. his ass up. Yeah, don't, yeah. don't link anything in chat right now. Yogi's got it set up to where Moobot will rape you, even if you just say hi. Um, Moobot's a Moobot will be like, dude. come here, I want your butt right now. Mm. Yeah, but it, yeah, he, Moobot doesn't like anybody. Moobot's um, known for two things, being super sassy and stalking Janelle number five. Yes, <laughs> stalks one of our talk show hosts on the horseplay. Uh, it's not really cool at all. Uh, but for that being said, guys, we are uh, done with our initial, with our information for today or our show today. Um, now we do have a couple minutes. Actually, we don't. Let me get out of here. Oh, yeah, we can, we can squeeze a few if you want. Yeah, we can squeeze talk a few. Talk about whatever. Yeah. Oh. Guys, we do want to make sure that we say this, too, though. The gang is growing. We do, uh, we, we do appreciate everybody and anybody that wants to become a geek or a part of Geeky Antics. You guys get, can go check out all, all or any and all videos regarding any geeky antics antics that we're doing uh, of course youtube uh youtube.com forward slash geeky antics and of course right here on twitch.tv forward slash geeky antics big shout outs to the gaming death podcast which is also part of the gang and of course to fred rojas and pixelated pints the gaming death podcast is on geekyantics.net around 9 p.m eastern time every thursday and that's right before the live show of horseplay uh they are streaming at twitch.tv for slash gaming death and then of course we're hosting uh their show on geeky antics when it's happening pixelated pints of course i said earlier is also um, a newer ver uh, newer part of the gang. Uh, and we just, hey, Fred, love you, man. Appreciate you coming on over. Um, hope we can do great things in the future. Come celebrate us with us in the forums. And, guys, we do have giveaways. I just mentioned a little bit ago we're giving away a copy of Payday 2. Please go to the YouTube link. Did somebody link it for me? Oh, I'm sure Yogi will get right on it or Stan. One of the oh, I asked Stan to do it freaking... No, he did it before. He can do it again. If, uh, if you wouldn't mind, do you mind, sir? Can I got it. I got it already. Okay. You guys go check that out. The link is in chat. If you guys are listening to the podcast, just go to YouTube and go to Geeky Antics and look for giveaway payday 2 okay um you guys can check that out and all you gotta do is comment comment on the video uh tell us why you why you think you why you'd want the game i know and just because i want it or it looks good is not gonna win you a game sorry um <laughs> generic answers like let's give, give me <laughs> use, your, use your brain come up with some ideas guys it's not it's not that not that very blah, 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 blah. i can't even talk which is not difficult either you guys can also check out our friends at a worthy opponent 42 Level 1, Gaming History 101, the B-Team Podcast, R9 Cast, Knuckleballer Radio. I'm missing a lot here. I am missing a, quite a bit, and I don't like it. <laughs> the, the OB is upset. Ah, yeah, the OB is furious right now. You can't tell? Uh, I don't know. There's only a few looks that go on that face anyways. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, where are they? At? Okay, there it is. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't write them down. You, Yogi added some, and when I don't like physically like write them down or actually, you know, copy paste, and I just forget and I don't do it. It's just bad. Hey, I know. Uh, yeah. 
Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. But we do want to make sure that we, we give a huge shout-outs to our friends, Cat and Fox, a worthy opponent, level 2, level 42, level 1. Jesus Christ. Gaming History 101, the B-Team Podcast, R9 Cast, Knuckleballer Radio, Zombie Cast, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Cast, and the Bean Cast, the Force Fantastic Forum, Sega Nerds, and the Castuberous Doctor Who Podcast, which, of course, are all on allgames.com network. And, of course, gang and any other places that geeky goodness can be found, guys. We we really uh, appreciate each and every one of 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 everybody that just helps us out and just just gives us some feedback everybody that gives us likes and comments and of course reviews on itunes we did get one of our first reviews from horseplay on itunes all right that's awesome thank you very much um but um that's pretty much all we have to say today i'm i'm pretty much talked out um and of course dreadnought did put it in the link you guys check out twitch.tv forward slash dreadnought 3447 for his stream hopefully he'll be streaming soon as soon as i can actually uh teach him how to use obs so we might send him to uh, some some uh tutorial videos uh, i don't know how to use it but i don't know how to use it optimally <laughs> well that's what the tutorial videos are for <laughs> you want to get out and say anything else before we get out of here dread no not really no, I've got anything. I think we covered a, a lot. That that'd be it. That'd be it, guys. We really appreciate once again. We really <laughs> do appreciate. We be done. <laughs> we be done, boys. Let's go home. Mama's calling. Um, oh, we we're, we are done, guys, for the day. We really appreciate each and every person um, that has that has helped us out. That has just just leaps and bounds. From 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 giving us feedback on our uh, on our, our iTunes and, and and Stitcher, you know, you know, thumbs up, OKs, awesomes. We really appreciate that. And you guys don't think it helps? It does. BFT nine thousand. Thanks for coming, man. I hope you check out the uh, the show after we, when we get it up on iTunes and Stitcher. It was a really good one. I think you'd enjoy it. We'll see you next week, bud. And for as for everybody else. We'll see you guys next week, too. This is Obi-Wan X2. And Dreadnought 3447. And we are out of here. Peace! Peace. Shitty song. Retry. See you next week. Oh, again. See you next week, guys. <laughs>